Hi guys, I just put online three videos without sound, right? Mute. So that happens and I'm not gonna go over it again, but basically let me talk you through what I've done. We have the Arch Linux tweak tool, sorry, the Arch Linux app. And that's a development project, an educational project to turn to, to teach you how to create a Python app with GTK and even with Glade, so user interface. I've created my own personal ISO with that. Cool. That means I don't need to go to archlinks.org uh, and download the ISO. I built the ISO. Any day of the month, I can just say I'm going to build myself personal ISO of Arch. Done that, been there. Then I installed Archlinx with the Arch install. So on articlelinks.info, we teach you, and that was actually a response to someone on Telegram, that we are choosing with what we start off with, but basically we're always on Arch. Whether we use the Arclix project with Calamaris or Carly with Calamaris Ariser without Calamaris, or again ALCI with Calamaris or with the Archlinks ISO, the .org website, I really type everything in. That's the Arclix D website. So you have different websites, different knowledge. It's also it's like a university. You go through the phases, and here you see you say. I have an old machine, a new machine, I'm gonna type everything in. Or you rely on scripts. And this is the Arch install script from ArchLinux, but also from a certain person who develops it. And then we say, why not start with Arch Linux? If it's impossible to install Arch Linux with the ISOs, just start with Arch Linux and that get the spices in. That's what we call it. The spices get the packages in, the configurations in, i3, BSP, WM, Qtile, and so on. They're all there. It's just a button away to get things rolling. And that's um, here also with the Arch Linux tweak tool where we say we are supporting so many Arch Linux distros. And in the end, that's what I was, that was the point of the three videos that are now unfortunately mute, is in the end, it's all Arch Linux and we can start with Arch and create an Arch Linux into an Endeavor OS or a Garuda or an Arch Craft and so on or an Arch Linux, right? And that's what we've done. We've done it all the time. This here is starting with Arch and then changing it to an Arch Linux. And that was a response to someone on Telegram today saying, look, you can change anything into anything because it's all Lego blocks and you have repos that you need and keys and mirrors and then packages and configs and once everything is set everything is set and you can create your own config super or you say copy paste from somebody else also super and then start changing a little bit don't like the red color don't like the yellow color like the things up here and say oh, i want to change this want to change that well great and then you have your own configuration so that's what I've been showing you in the video to tell you basically, guys, it's, it's, it's um, all kind of possibilities. The sky is the limit, basically. Start off with any of the Arch Linux distros and change it into something that you like. And that's what we've done. So we've uh, installed Arch Linux, the Arch install way. So I'm not typing everything in. I've chosen for system boot, as you can see, and then later X4 and XFC4, and that was not nice, XF4. Then we added the repo and the mirror lists from Endeavor OS, the keys, and voila, we started changing things, and we got a nice uh, welcome screen here, and off we go. And we are in Arch Endeavor OS-ish, and then later on we said, let's install the rest and what is the rest minus s now you can do 306 packages extra that you can install say I'll, I'll i'll get those as well i get this from there and that from there and building something like we used to be in our youth we got these lego blocks we smashed them to pieces 
and then we made a plane then we made a car and then we made a house and that's it that's what i'm trying to tell you that with all these distros packages repos you can do anything anything is possible and we started with arch we show you now endeavor os i could have done the same for archcraft or for garuda it's just study material for you find out how it all fits together pieces of the puzzle and then i can add more stuff from arc links there is the arch links 3 tool that we've installed and then we say okay if we got now ch a dwm that's what i have installed extra and then we explained a few things like hey how is this screen so big it's because we figured out that in here in the scripts in the run there's a line that i showed you how to figure it out it's called virtual one Ctrl a t and a render or just x render voila, x render i needed to know what the name was virtual one and i told him b virtual one with mode 1920 pixels and 1080 pixels and that's it and he knows and now from now on in the virtual box is always going to be big then we saw there were no icons up here and we did not like our badge rc because there is rip there is up all there is so many nice um aliases that we have and that's why um we went to look for the fonts we we're missing the fonts so we found that this one is actually the one that triggers i believe one two four five these guys um are defined by that particular font if not available you see something nice but not intended right so not supposed to be looking like chinese design letters thingies but like this so that's what we uh, figured out in the last video so sorry about that no sound for the, the other three videos but basically the, that's what we've have been talking to you all the time but uh, it will be mute message is to the guy on telegram to anybody else right arch is great it's flexible it's modular you can do without with anything with it you can grab code from other people you can build up your, your own code you can build your own applications Arclex app is an example of that so enjoy the flexibility the modularity of arch but also endeavor os or of, of garuda of all these guys who are using the arch building blocks as we could call them all right cheers